It's Anne here from Anne Makes. Thank you so much for stopping by and welcome for those of you who are new. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my videos, whether they are how-to videos, DIYs, or arts and craft supply haul videos that I do in various stores throughout uh, the area that I live in in Canada. And also recently a trip to Paris. That's right, this will be the second video in a series of videos that I am making for uh, a trip to Paris that I did and where I bought art supplies while I was there amongst other things that I did while I was there. I loved my trip to Paris and uh, being the arts and crafts supply collector addict that I am. I just could not go to France and not go see uh, some of my very favorite brands of art supplies and find some pretty good deals and bring those back home and share them with you today. So I went to a store called Passage Clouté. It is quite a hole in the wall type of store. It is a, a very it was a very interesting a little excursion to this this place. I I felt very safe. Oh, it's nothing like that. It was just a very uh I got to put it this was not a very shiny bright store this was really like a warehouse style store with no windows and it was it was bare bones and it was fabulous there were so many supplies that they have to spread out everything that they sell in several buildings along a street it in paris it is amazing so for someone like me who just loves arts and craft supplies, yeah, I was in paradise. And um, they had a back to school sale, of course, but they also just generally have great prices on their art supplies. And for me coming from North America, where we have to pay so much more for the very same art supplies just because they're being shipped overseas, uh, it was nice for me to save a bundle of money while I was there on some of my favorite products. So let's see what I found. One thing that I, would, I was really excited about uh, finding, and this was this is a brand new product. It's probably not even, I, I haven't seen it, I haven't heard of it uh, here in North America. They say it was brand new to them also, but uh, maybe it will come, it should come, I guess, to North America. But these are Faber-Castell uh, Pit Artist Pens. But what's different about these is that this set comes in Pit Artist, the Pit Artist Pens in white white for those of you who are fanatic art journalers and mixed media artists you know how much we love our white pens so faber castell does have a white ink uh it's india ink pen now with these various nibs so these you have like this paintbrush nib on this one if you can see that okay and you got this one here. I think it's more of a bullet point nib. See that? And then there's this one, which is a much finer brush tip pen. So they have this, and I was just so excited to find this. I Like I said, it was a brand new product. Uh, in the store at that store for that store and I did not see this anywhere else I also got the it also comes with a pit in black ink Faber Castell black ink uh, extra fine or fine point so that's a little kit that they were selling for something like seven and a half euros for all of this so that is very very interesting uh deal 
for me. <laughs> so of course I had to buy that. So I got myself that. I also picked up something I have was having difficulty finding here. And frankly, I could buy it online, but I wasn't willing to pay the prices I was being asked for this online. But this is uh, simply in French, they call it a gade, gade plastique. Uh, I've had gades. They're, they're basically little cups that one would stick. Um, you could stick this on the edge of your board when you are painting. I'm trying to do this. It has a clip. I just don't have the right thing to show you right now. But there's a clip here and you slide this onto my finger <laughs> and treat the board. And I chose the one, and I could choose so many different kinds. They had single ones, they had all metal ones, they had these plastic ones with lids, without lids. So I took the little plastic one. So basically you would just put water in here. And so it's a portable little clean your brush system. And all it is is these little cups, plastic cups on a clip that could clip to the side of your board or easel when you're painting, uh, especially when you're traveling, or it's great on the edge of a journal. You can clip this to a journal. Now it's brand new, so it's really got a tight fit on it, but if you have a journal, you could clip it to the edge of your journal while you're journaling or painting, and you have that. So I got this little doodad. I don't remember how much it was, but I know it was a fraction of what I would pay here for that. And yeah, so I just had to get it. And what was neat about this store, Passage Clouté, is that I was asking them for all sorts of little things that I have difficulty finding here in North America. And uh, they were like, oh sure, what do you want? And they were opening all these little drawers, tiny little drawers everywhere, stacked from the floor to the ceiling. And they were like, oh, whew, how many would you like? And there were thousands on the drawer. It's just like Harry Potter magic type of place, you know. So, yeah, I got little erasers for my uh, ref eraser refills for my electric eraser thingy. Uh, again, very cheap, very practical little thing that I need. I got a few erasers, a few of my favorite Faber-Castell uh, erasers for my art supplies at a fraction of the cost that it costs me here in North America. I think the this one was like $2 at the most that I paid for this. And then these erasers, which are both for ink and pencil, uh, came out to just under a dollar a piece. Uh, but these are Faber-Castell, and I know that here I have to pay at least $8 for these. So, ridiculous, but true. I also picked up some LEDs, colored LEDs, Faber-Castell colored pencil LEDs. Uh, these are the 0 0.5, and I just got green, blue, and red because these are hard to find here. I have to have them uh, ordered and... They sell these to me for like about, I think it was $7, 7 or $8 for a box of little pencil leads. And I think these were like two euros a piece. So that's almost uh, $2.50, $2, just under $3 a box um, for these. So I got that. I also got some uh, double-ended Lyra blue and red sketching pencils just a simple sketching pencil but i like the fact that one end is red one end is blue and just something that i pay way too much for here and over there they were about like a euro or so so just over a dollar for these and i picked up a really nice mechanical pencil from faber castell this one is the 0 0.5, so it is perfect for these LEDs. I did not have this brand, this type of Faber-Castell art pencil or sketching pencil, mechanical, that is. And um, 
here I checked uh, when I came back the best price I could get on one of these was $18 plus tax uh, and I got this for uh, just under $5 with the exchange rate so yeah I'm pretty happy about that I also got some these are new also a new brand to the store so I don't know if they'll ever show up here they're just pigment ink uh, markers uh, permanent ink with different size nibs but they were so so cheap they were like a euro and a half for these so very very inexpensive and I just got one in each point so basically the four the set of four here they are comparable to the microns uh, I think I got this for about five bucks all this so yeah I'm pretty stoked about that Another little thing that I had trouble finding at a not ridiculous price here in Canada were the Faber-Castell uh, pencil shaped erasers. These are, you can um, sharpen these and they have the little wispy thing at the end so you can, you know, dust away the eraser crumbs. <laughs> I got two like this and I just got a regular one like this. And again, these were very uh, affordable, like just, I don't remember, they were under two euros a piece for the one with the brush and just over one euro for uh, this. So little, little doodads that make my life easier. Uh, they're just a whole bunch of little tools that I use constantly. And I really hate it when I pay $8 for an eraser here and I lose it. So yeah. I also got a Faber-Castell pencil erase, a pencil sharpener, and uh, I have pencil sharpeners, but I wanted a Faber-Castell, and I wanted one like this just because of the size. It's compact. I like it, and I only paid like two and a half euros for this, so yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. And they had in their back to school sale, they had some watercolor kits on sale. And this one is by Pibio. And this is the extra fine, which I can't find the extra fine here in Canada anymore. So this comes in the cutest little metal palette. And I am a sucker for a really cute paint palette. I admit it. I just, I just love little paint palettes. And this one is just so sweet looking. And it has these 12 beautiful extra fine watercolor cubes. And I just love it, love the size of it. I love the paint. And of course, this was a ridiculous price compared to what I I pay for something similar here in Canada. So uh, I think this was something like 11 euros or so. So that's maybe like $15 type of thing. So the, those are the finds that I found at this uh, sto store called Passage Clouté. Uh, that was about two metro stops away from our hotel and a five minute walk. And I was at the same time, I got to visit a part of Paris that most tourists don't go to because this is you know this is where people live and work and you know there's no Eiffel Tower there and stuff but uh, it was that's what I like to see I like to go off the beaten track I like to see different areas I like to see how people really live and and yeah I got to see that while I was there too so I want to squeeze in another uh, little haul that I did at another really really neat store one day I went to visit a museum, Le Musée d'Orsay, which is actually uh, across the Seine River from the Louvre Museum. And on that same side, on Quai, Vol Quai Voltaire, I think it is, uh, Trois Quai Voltaire, yeah, I went to Sennelier. Sennelier is probably the oldest art supply store in Paris or the world I'm not sure um, but it is the original store and manufacturer that made pigments 
specific pigments as requested by the great artists such as Renoir and Picasso, just to name some that you, you may recognize more than others. And they are the makers of pigments and pastels. And, and with the pigments, they made their paints as well. So I went to this store and I am including pictures of that here in the video. It is a fabulous little store. It has been around for over 100, 200 years. I can't remember exactly. And you walk into this store through this very narrow doorway, a heavy door, by the way. And it is, again, floor to ceiling. It is a tight, compact space. It is floor to ceiling, wooden drawers and cubbies filled to the brim of the best, the best pastels, paints, pens, pencils in the world. And it was just an awesome feeling to be there. I did take some photographs to show you. There is a wooden spiral staircase that takes you up to the other levels. Uh, to see uh, the, the which were former ateliers and are now uh, storage and stock rooms to sell you more supplies so it was wonderful to be there and to just absorb absorb it all to absorb this is this is where the great artists uh, got their paint and their pigments and their pastels for their artwork it's just mind-blowing So while I was there, I asked for specific uh, pastel pencils by Faber-Castell uh, because they are one of my favorites. And at this store, which is unlike so many stores that we have here in North America, is that they can sell you individual pencils and pastels from you know the kits we usually have to everything we buy usually comes in kits it's very hard to find individual colors of our favorite coloring pencils and pastels and such but there they've got it you just ask for it they've got it so i picked up about i had a wish list of about 30 pastel colors uh that i was that I don't have, and I think I ended up buying about 12. I limited myself. Uh, I didn't, I don't need every single color, but I had the list with me uh, just in case I couldn't find one color, I could substitute it for another. But they had all the colors, they just had them all. So, uh, and I think there's uh, 72 of these pastels in the collection. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much halfway there now, so uh, I'm pretty happy. And I don't even know if I would ever use all of them, so I just focused on getting the ones I wanted to add to my current collection. And so I picked up this, and I just spent a lot of time there looking at everything, taking pictures, just taking it all in, uh, listening to to them talk about the history of the store and. Uh, you know the history of the artists going there so it, it was really a lot of fun and I also picked up this a small journal from it is a Senelieu journal and I thought this would be a really great souvenir for me to have as well and it was only 2.8 euros and I think uh, these were under two euros a piece so uh, yeah I'm really happy with my purchases I'm just thrilled about the experience of having visited Sennelier. I do have one more shopping haul from Paris to share with you, but I, may, I don't want these videos to be too, too long and lose you. So I will film that in the next video. So please uh, stay tuned for that to see a third and final uh, art supply haul from Paris. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please like, please comment, and share. 
Stay crafty and I'll see you in a little bit.